Welcome to the Retirement Blueprint with the founder of 210 Financial, Phil Cooper, a program designed to empower you to live financially confident in retirement. From income planning and wealth management to health care, defending against taxes, and leaving a legacy. Phil shares the strategies and insights you need to help achieve retirement success. This is the Retirement Blueprint. Welcome to the show today. Thanks so much for joining us. I am Jen Rizak, alongside the founder and CEO of 210 Financial, husband, father, proud grandfather, and my friend, Phil Cooper. Phil, how are you doing today? Jen, I'm good. I'm really good. When you saw, talk about, I say this every show, you, you bring this, this amazing intro and you always have this proud grandfather thing you bring in there. Any grandparent out there would know what I'm talking about. That's all that matters anymore. You know, I jokingly said, I think at our last show, that uh, when, the, when the grandchildren were born, that the, uh, the kids' names don't matter anymore. That's who I am. You're right. More than proud grandpa, I am, I am the grandpa, yes. That's all that matters That's to us. right. Those little guys have your heart, have you wrapped oh, around Oh, they the do. And by the way, how are you doing? How is your family? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank Good. you. I'm, Good. I'm doing wonderful. Kids are great. And I'm excited to talk to you today about Likewise. what I think is a big topic, right? Yes. Uh, 401k and IRA decisions. I have a stat here, Phil, that I want to start off with sharing you. I've got to make sure I'm saying this right. There are so many millions of Americans who have money in something like an IRA or a 401k, and the 2020 numbers, Phil, $19 trillion wow. are in IRA accounts. That's a lot of money, and there's a lot of implications there when we talk about how much of our money is in these types of accounts. Oh, it's huge, because the thing about those accounts, Jen, is that they have kind of a bullseye on them. If you have an IRA, or if a person has a 401k, now we're not talking about Roth, we'll, deal, we'll dig into the Roth side of that in a moment here in the, in the show, but if you have a regular IRA, or a regular 401k, here's an easy way of explaining that. Those are simply dollars that have never been taxed. Hmm, so okay, not all of those dollars are yours, not all of those dollars are mine. We have a partner in those dollars, and that partner gets to determine how much of that account they, that they want. So what we're going to be talking about in the show today is how do we minimize our partner's piece of this and how do we get more put in our own pocket? If you've got an IRA or a 401k, kudos to you for saving those dollars. But now there's just as important, if not a more important strategy on how do we get those dollars out of those buckets at some point in time. Right. The tax implications are huge. I think that's yeah. why I've heard it said something along the lines of an IRA is kind of an IOU to Uncle Sam uh, because good. we're going to have that to pay that good. back at some point. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I want to expound, expound on that just for a moment if I could. Yeah. That is so I've never heard that before. That is really, really good because as the tax law has changed, Jen, that IOU can become smaller or it can become bigger. And the problem is you and I don't get a choice in how big that IOU is. We know what we know. So in other words, we know what the tax laws are today, but we don't know what our tax laws are going to be in the future. That IOU could be, gosh, it could be considerably larger. I would rather know what I know and not know what I don't know. And so that, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to steal that from you, Jen. I'm going to use that one <laughs> tomorrow morning. My, my first appointment in our office, I'm going to use that. That is a very good way of looking at that. If you have an IRA or a 401k, you literally have an IOU, which means you're going to pay some of that someday to your partner called the IRS. That's right. And just a quick note, you can't steal something that's being given to you. I, I gave you oh, that one. So All right. Thank, we, have that on, we have that recorded. So, <laughs> okay, right, I'm right. taking that. That's our disclaimer. <laughs> We have it on record. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about some of those different types of accounts that we have. Uh, because as we're saying here, some of these accounts are what we call tax deferred. That means no. at some point a little later on, the taxes will be taken out. But just where are people putting their retirement money and what do they need to know about how the taxes come out of that later on? Yeah, that's really good. Out? Absolutely. I'll tell you, Jen, my generation of Americans we were taught to put our money away into what you just mentioned, something called tax deferred. In other words, defer it till down there. Go down the road, pay your taxes down there. I'll put my money into this bucket called a 401k today, and then as it grows over time, I've not paid any taxes on that. I've got the benefits of growing those dollars tax deferred, but then I can pull them out later. And the theory behind that was when I retire, 
I should be in a lower tax bracket. And what we're finding out is that is becoming no longer normal, that people are retiring in just as high of a tax bracket as their working years. And so now they're reaching into these buckets of 401k money and IRA money, and they're paying taxes at a much higher rate. In other words, that IOU, what's much bigger than what they anticipated. And this is becoming a, potentially could become a real problem in the future if taxes continually go up, or if the state, like the state of Illinois, if they ever decide to start taxing some things like IRAs and 401ks, now we've got that IOU that just keeps growing and growing and growing. These are dollars, Jen, that people have set aside for their own use. This is what I need to buy groceries with. This is to put tires on the car. This is for that dream vacation, taking those kids to Disneyland and those, some of those things that my wife and I have planned. But if that IOU keeps growing, so what we're, what we're looking at now is, first of all, kudos to you if you put money in there. If you have a 401k, if you have an IRA, you did the right thing. You put money in there. But we have to develop strategies now. How do we get those dollars out of there and put more of those in your pocket than we put in Uncle Sam's pocket? That is a real, real strategy that must be applied to most people's lives. And we have to think about it, Phil, because there will come a time when you have to take money out of those accounts. It's not as if we can say, well, that sounds scary. I don't want the tax hit, so I'll leave the money in there. Uh, We've talked about the IRAs and the IOUs. We're going to throw in three more letters here. RMDs, required minimum distributions. This is a big deal for people taking money out of those accounts. It's a huge deal because there's two magic ages, we call this, with with these buckets of money. If you have a 401k or an IRA, here are the two magic ages I want you to remember. Age 59 and a half, that's called your quote-unquote allowed age. Now, the IRS doesn't call it your allowed age. What they say is once you arrive at 59 and a half, you can reach into your bucket and extract dollars out for whatever use you want. You will avoid IRS penalties, but you're not going to avoid the taxation. So the government also, they're pretty wise. They understand how things work. And they say, well, this person's only going to live to be so old. What if they don't take money out? When are we going to get our taxes? And so at age 72, they put something that's no longer called your allowed age. You just brought it up, Jen. It's called RMD. The R stands for required. We are now required at age 72 to reach into our buckets of 401k and IRA, pull some money out. Why? What does the government want from us? They want our tax money. And then we will be required to pull out a piece of that every year till death do us part. And then whoever inherits that bucket of money will have to continue to do the same thing. have to take those dollars out because they've never been taxed. So the strategy, one of the strategies we're talking to folks now is should you consider, at least consider, taking some of those dollars while you know what the current tax law is, if you think taxes are going up in the future, should you consider reaching into that bucket before you're required, pulling some of that out and paying some taxes on it and putting that over into a different type of, a, of an IRA, called a Roth IRA. Yes, taxes happened when that, when you did that, but you did it on a controlled, very strategic way. And then if they get into the Roth IRA, and then later down the road, if you reach into your Roth IRA and pull money out, taxes are gone. Those are strategies we're having to look at every day because people did not plan for this giant IOU that's sitting inside of these accounts. It's a lot to think about. We do have a free guide. If you have some of those questions like, are you paying too much in taxes? Go to the website on your screen and you can get that free download today. Or you can contact Phil and the team at 210 Financial for your Retirement Blueprint Financial Review. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Eggs. For you, they never ended up in one basket. You saved. You invested. You diversified. Then, with the right help, you grew your nest egg and found the recipe for your ideal retirement. And when it all came together, you realized it was about more than just eggs. Write your retirement recipe today. In everyone's life, there is a time to plant the seeds for a future in financial freedom. 210 Financial can help you harvest the fruits of your labor so you don't have to be worried about running out of money in retirement. Call 
800-727-7754 for a complimentary retirement blueprint financial review. Again, that's 800-727-7754 or go to 210financial.com. I'm here today with Phil Cooper. He is the founder of 210 Financial. We're so glad you've joined us today for Retirement Blueprint as we are talking about the decisions you need to make to help you manage your retirement account and a couple of things we want to get into here in this part of the show the penalties for missing your required minimum distributions which are steep and strategic Roth conversions for your retirement money so let's start Phil with the penalties because as I understand it it is the highest penalty in the tax code if you mess up your required minimum distributions it sure is talk a little bit about that penalty absolutely for so there's this happens literally every year Folks will call me and say, hey, I got a letter that I'm supposed to be taking. 